Time now for your main event, the WBO World Middleweight Championship Contest. Introducing the challenger in association with Icon Sports Promotions, Lolita Musea. Opportunity for the extremely likable, polite, respectful, unbeaten Zambian Lolita Muzea, who's been cool and calm and quietly confident all of Fight Week up here. It's her first trip to the UK, it's her first tilt in a world title. She's 16 and oh, plenty of knockouts. The last three have been dispatched very, very quickly. So there's power there, but this is a huge loop up in class mat and in weight. Yeah, big step up, naturally smaller as well. And also Savannah Marshall just on such a roll right now. Her confidence is sky high. I do not see any slip ups from Savannah Marshall tonight. Believe in Lolita is what she's been saying all week and what it will mean to her to take a world title back to Zambia. She has the chance. She's got to do it here on this stage under the lights. We'll find out what she's made of. But she looks relaxed and ready. And now, your two-time defending champion, Savannah Marshall! A rapturous reception on a fabulous boxing night as Harlepool's extraordinarily talented and heavy-hitting Savannah Marshall returns to her beloved Northeast with the world middleweight crown. She brilliantly won in that standout performance against Hannah Rankin and then defended during the pandemic. She races to the ring. She can't wait to get started and neither can we after this. Savannah Marshall confronted, fighting in front of this crowd now. And there she is, Clarissa Shields, the arch rival, the American superstar, watching at home as Savannah tries to cement her status as our leading UK female fighter, and then take on the world's finest. Boxer on Sky Sports Boxing, in partnership with Bet365, version two, Village Hotels, Everlast, Sports Direct, and Wall Hydrate. And in association with Icon Sports Promotions, this championship contest is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization with Supervisor John Handelar in attendance. And the British Boxing Board of Control with Supervisor Miles Templeton. Our judges at ringside 
are Steve Gray, Jose Ignacio Martinez, and Marco Morales. And our timekeeper at the bell, James Holborn. Boxer, the Newcastle take over now. 10 rounds for the WBO World Middleweight title in this, your main event of the evening. We introduce first the challenger in the blue corner, wearing the black and gold. She weighed in 11 stone, 4 pounds, standing undefeated at 16 and 0 from Lusaka, Zambia. Introducing Lolita Musea. And now, your champion in the red corner, wearing the gray and blue, standing 5 feet 11 and 1 half inches tall, weighed in 11 stone, 5 pounds, undefeated at 10 and 0 from Hartlepool, England, your defending champion, Savannah Marshall. Your referee in charge. Michael Alexander. Savannah. Right, you both know the rules, so let's just have a good, clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Touch yeah. close. The crackling atmosphere, the silent assassin looking to make some noise of her own as she closes in on that dream duel with rival Clarissa Shields but vital defensive business tonight as she defends her treasured world title against fellow undefeated Lolita Mazea, rather an unknown quantity man. Yeah, it was straight away Mazea is looking to take that center of the ring. She's looking to back Marshall up behind that double jab. A very aggressive, fast start from Mazea. Yep, she can punch. And Look the right hand. hand. And Marshall just caught in a bit of a storm and has to fight her way out. Big pressure from the challenger from Zambia. Switching it out. And out very fast from the traps. Yeah, I mean, she's literally jumped straight on it here. Let both hands go good up a good there from Savannah Marshall. Beautiful punch from Savannah Marshall, timed as Mazea came in. What a rip-roaring first minute we've had here as Mazea literally going for it. Good left, left hook as well from, from Marshall. Marshall. Yep. And it's again, a lovely uppercut. And again, two really good uppercuts there from Marshall. I think she's going to have to knock the fight out of Mazea. Trying to work it out on the spot very quickly. Savannah Marshall with those uppercuts to try and halt Mazea as she comes in. But a ferocious start from Mazea. And Marshall, who's a big puncher, just trying to get herself set. Mazea so fired up. Oh, only a big up right uppercut from Marshall. And that's the accuracy and the class that she uses. And Mazea, for all the fire, is going to have to be very careful of those. Yeah, she's already shipped some big shots. Those uppercuts are punishing. Body shots as well. Yeah, you know, these are hard shots from Marshall. I don't think Mazea is going to be able to take too many of these. I mean, she's really, really fired up. She started fast. But Marshall landing hard shots now. No, oh, she's really going for this big opportunity, Mazea, throwing everything at it. But she looks almost exhausted as she goes back to her corner. What a start. Marshall under severe fire, but you could see her working out the problem quickly. And it's Mazea that is pretty much empty to tank. She was out of the like traps it. like a greyhound, wasn't she, Mosea? So fast, jumped on, literally jumped straight on top of Marshall, put it on her. The Marshall fan room, timed the water run to some really hard, powerful uppercuts. You could see they were hurting Mosea, which because she was so pumped up, she went through it, but I don't know how long she can keep going through those shots. I'm not sure. We see it here. Beautifully timed uppercut, walked her right onto it. That was a hard shot. She won't be able to keep walking through all those, not all night long. Not a respect there from uh, Clarissa Shields. Right character, Clarissa Shields is. We can't wait to have her over here. Maybe enjoying watching it. 
in the States, Clarissa Savannah Marshall defending her world title, the 30-year-old from Hartlepool and the 30-year-old from Lusaka, the capital of Zambia, Lolita Mazea. Marshall's seen what Mazea is all about, fearless. Yeah, absolutely fearless, but also reckless and Savannah Marshall, good distance, good timing, looking for that right up again, missed that time. But that's a shot that she was landing beautifully in the first round. Looking for that left hook to the body as well after the right uppercut. But still, Mosea tries to land her own hooks. It's relentless and a real effort. Marshall. Body shot again. And there's the jab. Yeah, and that's a hard jab as well. That's not just a, a range finder or a point scorer. That's a ramrod jab. And these are hard shots from Marshall. Won't be deterred, though, Mazea. And she just keeps trying to close the distance, but that's where Marshall wants her, at her own range. And spiteful punching from Savannah Marshall. And Mazea just losing her way. And a tired look. Desperate. It's almost like a last round effort, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, she put so much into the first round, and even this second round, and she's shipping a lot of points. But these are really solid shots. Oh, Bouncing off the chin. Uppercut and body shot from Savannah Marshall. And a right hand. And Mazzea coming apart here. And backed up in the corner. Ten seconds left in the second round. And Savannah Marshall on the verge here of the world here. title. The bell on the referee. It's the referee. And Savannah Marshall on the bell to end the second round. Makes it another stoppage victory as she retains her world middleweight title in sizzling style. And I tell you what, she is star quality. And if she believes in herself, she can become a superstar. Well, Mosaic came out of traps in that first round and she literally jumped on top of Savannah Marshall, dragged her, tried to drag her into a dogfight straight away. Marshall got some room, landed some hard uppercuts. And then in the second round, she got some more room and started to land the hard straight shots, set her up with a jab, chopped the right hand down, brought the right uppercut again through the middle and really knocked the fight out of Mosaic. And that's a fair statement because there was a lot of fights in Mosaic. You can hear the crowd here. Cheering her on as she stands on the ropes and takes the applause. That was a first class performance. Mosea, massive effort. 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10 for, for, for tenacity and grit and, and effort. But the class, the, the, the power, the, the, the accuracy was all with Savannah Marshall. She was just a couple of levels above. And that was a punishing, punishing finish in the end. All smiles from Savannah Marshall, the new darling of the Northeast. What a performance! Under fire, under pressure, and she dispatched a brave, brave Lolita Mazea, who threw caution to the wind, but was outclassed, outpunched. And that was a dynamic performance from Marshall, and so different to the one when she won her world title, which was classy and cool, and she took her time. Didn't have time tonight. But well, Mosea brought the fire, and Ma Marshall matched her and raised her again. She fought fire with fire and raised it up a few levels, and uh, Mosea just couldn't go up the levels with her. F fantastic performance. Katie Taylor has excited us so much over the years. But I tell you what, Savannah Marshall is thriller minute two. Absolutely fabulous tonight. And it's the power she brings to the ring. A seventh knockout in a row for the silent assassin, who won't be silent for much longer. Atmosphere. Huge.
huge roar from the crowd as well when she was putting those final flurries together and uh, the referee, I think it was a perfectly well-timed stoppage. He gave Musea every opportunity. Clarissa Shields here clapping approval of that performance as well. She'll have been impressed with that. A huge homecoming for Savannah Marshall and look how happy she is. Joining us inside the ring tonight from the World Boxing Organization, the supervisor, John Hangelar, presenting the winner's belt tonight. Ladies and gentlemen at the Utilita Arena, this contest ended one minute, 58 seconds into round number two. Your winner, and still WBO World Middleweight Champion, Savannah Marshall! I feel bad for even trying to talk over this. I'm just going to let the chorus go. Ladies and gentlemen, what an atmosphere for Savannah Marshall. In terms of homecomings, that's pretty good. Talk us through how you're feeling right now. I'm absolutely overwhelmed. I cannot believe it, I still can't get over it. At the end of the day, I'm still a woman in a man's sport. And to have this amount of support, oh, honestly, I'm on cloud nine. It was amazing. I want to say thank you to everyone here. Everyone who stayed to watch and didn't go in the fire. Thank you everyone for Hartlepool who come on, my friends, family, thank you so much, it means the world. The fight itself lived up to the billing. You said, I think the Lita Musea is going to come flying out the traps. That's an understatement. She came bulldozing across the ring. A firefight for two rounds, it probably doesn't even cover it. A cool head in a hot kitchen was needed. 100%, I knew she'd come like that and when I went back the corner after the first round, Peter said just weather the spawn because she won't, she'll die after a couple of rounds. And, well, she only lasted one more. He's a pretty good influence in that sort of scenario. I, I presume that is the perfect Peter Fury scenario, just trying to keep you calm and focused, knowing that Lolita Mazea was probably going to um, run out of steam pretty quick. He said just, just tuck up, catch her shots and just pick your own. And it was right as soon as I went back out and I, I started catching her. She started going on the back foot as much as I thought she wouldn't do because she come at me like a bat out of hell. But fair play to her, she, she, she stuck it on me. Two contrasting emotions. When you won your world title, it was in front of nobody. It was, it was probably ten of us in the arena. So you were denied that moment of lifting the belt in front of a crowd. How does it feel now, the two contrasting scenarios? Yeah, anyone who knows me and see me jumping on them top ropes, I think, God, that's not air. I don't know what come over me, I just... <laughs> Like I said, I, d I don't know what come over me. Peter Fury, presumably that's why you have sparring partners, hard sparring, that come and try and knock Savannah out of her stride for that particular reason. You know, I'm over the moon with what uh, Lolita brought to the table. You know, she come out, you know, she thought, I'll put it on her. You know, what do you do with somebody who's got skills? You try and take it off and take him in the trenches. But when she come back to the corner, just said, he's off. I said, let her flail away, she can't keep that going. I said, you're picking her with some nice shots. I said, just carry them. I said, and just respond it in your own time. And that's what she done. And she got her out of there. So, listen, fantastic performance, you know. Absolutely brilliant from Savannah. OK, we're going to try something here. Obviously, let's address the, the worst kept secret in the world. You are on a collision course with Clarissa Shields. She was watching in the States tonight. I'm just going to pop these headphones on. If you look at that monitor, we've got a message for you. Savannah Marshall finally, she finally broke the Savannah Marshall curse. Um, and the amateurs four times supposed to fought against each other and she lost the day before each time. But today she pulled through with a second round knockout. So congrats. See you next year, girly, and show you what a real fighter and what a real champion fights like. I'll take them back off you. Your reaction to that, this is set up perfectly now. Oh, what a load of crap. Clarissa couldn't last two rounds with me. Yeah, sorry, two minutes, never mind two rounds. 
I'm going to bring in promoter Ben Sean. Peter, if you could just step to one side. Ben, welcome. Unbelievable. There's a little bit of pressure on you now because these two seem to be on a perfect collision course. Tell us what's next. Look, unbelievable, Savannah. I think we saw tonight. We believe we've got the best fighter in the whole of the sport. Clarissa feels she's the best female in the whole of the sport. We've got them both now on the same platform. We're going to put them together on December the 11th and then we'll see what happens, but it's going to happen and it's going to happen very soon. So just confirm that Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall will box on the same bill in December. December the 11th, Birmingham, they'll be boxing on the same, the same card and then we're in for the big one. Yeah, so then the pressure really ranks up yeah. because actually can't afford any slip-ups at that stage. Exactly, but tonight is about Savannah. I think we saw again why she's the best fighter in the sport. And there was a reason why you wanted to come back here. Presumably hearing Sweet Caroline being bled out there must make you very happy to hear that. That's what, that's what I was saying to Savannah. It's time for her to know that she's a superstar. It's the time for her to feel that she's a superstar and to have a headline in, in Newcastle and have this crowd. I think she knows it now. I think she feels it now. So on to bigger and better things. A job well done. I'm going to give you the final word, though, Savannah. Like I said, thank you for all the support. I'm, I'm amazed. Honestly, thank you so much. Brilliant. Well done.